Hi Aquarius, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Aquarius, this is your uh, general reading that I call messages from the source or the universe. Um, today's date is the 8th of May and I'm using the number or the frequency of the number in the reading as a basis. And today's frequency is absolutely gorgeous. It's number eight, so it's the infinity sign. Uh, eight in itself is very strong, like it speaks for strength and power. And the infinity sign is so above, so below, so in heaven, so on earth. And there's the never endedness of things. So it's like, it's a really, really abundant energy. So that's really cool. So let's see specifically what's going on for you, Aquarius, for the very near future. I've asked for the most inspirational, uplifting, and guiding message that I can find for you at this moment in time. And I'm using the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, but I want to make clear that it's not a typical tarot reading, because I don't know tarot. I just use the images in the cards to get my own intuition going. Please fast forward if you don't like the shuffling. Though I tend to incorporate the shuffling... Um, like the meaning of the shuffling into the reading as well. There you go. Wow. All at once. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. <gasps> These are like my best numbers, I'd say. Aquarius. So... We have love begins, and I do apologize, the image is, is being reversed, I'm keeping it in for now. Uh, this is number one there on the top, if you could see it. It's a green border, it says love begins on the bottom. And number one is all about new beginnings, we're starting new, we're starting fresh, and it's a green border which speaks about the totality of you, like the green is all about the heart, the heart energy center, and how it's not like a fractured or... Re or you don't see restored because that's good. Stored something else. It's not a fractured type of love. This type of love is whole. This type of love is very unconditional. It's very meaningful. I mean, I guess, I don't know why you want to use that word, but I guess that other, obviously relationships can be meaningful, but there's something to this that is so <laughs> meaningful. Um, it can be, it's a general reading, and from the look of it, I, I think it's a romantic relationship, but it could be a friend, it could be a co-worker, it could be a family member, it could be anything and everything in between, uh, because of the general reading that I'm, that I'm doing here, uh, but it's a coming together, it's a strong coming together, so I would still call it a soulmate, I would still call it a strong strong universal connection or universe connection that has sort of i don't know you met this person over and over again uh maybe even in this lifetime not really realizing how much you have in common or how much you were like in in your later life gonna spend time together maybe you as children you were in living in the same town or you were however this is playing out for you um it is a new beginning in love. So it is It is also talking about the, com the connection you have in with yourself, like feeling that utter balance between you and you, if that makes sense. It's something about coming of different color. So it's not you holding a cup because, or you have a bit of a funny sweater on. Here's a pink sleeve and here's a yellow sleeve. And there's a rainbow on top of it. So... It's speaking about how he's coming from different colors. So it might be a different ethnicity, it might be different religion, might be different, just different in the way that it's not coming from the typical same place. It can be same, but not typical. I hope that makes sense. So if it if it is same, so let's say it's two black people and it's it's you you were raised the same, you even have the same religion, you have the same, the same, the same then maybe one person is more towards uh, very down-to-earth, very logic, very mathematical, very analytical. And 
wants proof of everything and the other person is very etheric very whimsical very uh spiritual doesn't need answers like they're more i can still believe it even in it even even if i don't see it which is my truth because that's sort of how everything comes about really um so it's just a difference which is awesome but it's still a beautiful type of love and some sort of meaningful love okay then we have number eight strong eight today guys because the foundation of the reading is eight in the today's date and then we have number eight here again with the power with the power um card so you could be dealing with a leo because we have a lion there um but other than that i feel like because of the eight and because of the power and because of the black border which speaks about the universe is backing you up um we also have a lot of red here which speaks about the the true power of the core to everything and then is this spiritual power being with you um i think this is more talking about you as a whole this is like the really wise part of you being shown here and then the really the really powerful and strength side to you coming through as a, as the lion it's so so powerful due to the number eight due to the black border due to the power word due to the lion and the really wise old man in the picture is it's <laughs> is the magician or the teacher of the magician himself or herself if you will it's almost describing more like a because we have just a universal love it's like a big grand love coming together and then we speak about this grand strength and power and and this infinity sign like that this goes on for forever and ever and ever it's never like a never endedness it's like it's almost describing the universe or de or describing like the phenomena of evolution rather than you as a person aquarius so it's it's really profound and it's really large is what it feels like and then we have number five which is life path for me this is change and life path and sometimes it's changed in your life path and you're you're doing well in all the areas this is sort of like a rainbow situation again so it speaks about when the rainbow energy is here for me that is talking about how when every energy center is in alignment is in balance and there's something to it with a throat i do apologize for my nails today i know that's going to be a ah, distraction so i just rather mention something about it i have a two-year-old and we have fun <laughs> um so there's uh one one finger in everything uh like you have a placement in everything so the first is like your uh, throat chakra, which speaks about how you're really authentic, really wise, really speaking your true, true, uh, true blue truth, um, being the best version of yourself that you can be, like putting your foot down. This is how it is. This is the most authentic me. Then we have this spiritual union. It's almost like because we have a wedding band there. Uh, it speak, it doesn't have to be a wedding, but it speaks about it speaks about commitment, and it's a spiritual. The the purple color behind there speaks about the spiritual connection. So it's really, really a strong, strong. With the love begins, like I said, when you're coming together, it's like it's so meaningful and it has depth to it. It has. It's like it's not just two random people meeting each other in an afternoon there's no story here it's like there couldn't be more history and more story around you guys um and then we have two fingers here around the red so it's a strong new foundation on your life path that is going on strong new foundation and then we have health just anything and everything around your body and your health like it, it can be diet and can be working out it can be um health situations where it's really good you have a you have a thumb with the health so everything is being sort of restored and healed and really really good uh we have a red border so it speaks again about the new foundation there it says financial and material changes and due to the energy that i feel it's all for the better material and financial changes 
Do you feel how it's like such an overhaul? Like over... It's an overview of a situation rather than a person. And then we have number 11, which is the portal number, which is the dream number, the wishes, the fantasies, the... If 11, 11 is a master number and so is 22 and 33. And if 11 is all about the dreams, the visions, the... I want this, this is what I want for myself, then 22 is all about, uh, so if that is the dream, how do we put that together, how do we manifest that, how do we want to, how do we got to work to, to fix that, 33 is 11 plus 22 combined, which is like, we have the equation here, 11 plus 22, so just, it's not always, it's not just get on with it, because that's 22, 33 is more, and it's here, it's now appearing, so there's something to this, like you're living your, you're living your dream, and it's not like it's, like it hasn't manifested yet, a lot of things could have manifested still, but you're still very much in your dream state, thinking about things that you want, dreaming about things, things that you want, but at the same time, we have such a strong with the power card here and with the number eight and two number eights and, and one of the eights is the foundation of this reading which is a strong manifestational number things are now coming in and it wants to show you the eternalness of things for you to like fully understand that there's never an ending to anything never okay and it's like something has come full circle in this in this dreams so you're just waiting for the next thing to enter now it's this balance on the bottom so it's it's a balancing act between the wishes and the manifestations of it and that's where i feel like you're in right now so when it's so when it's been described like this it might just be for a situation rather like a situation dreaming about love coming together this grand type of love and this power and strength and i now actually see a watch there a clock that there there's timing here there's time to just get it right now maybe get it right now but get it right now 11 is also a portal something you're stepping through something you're ready for taking making sort of the decisions like okay i'm ready for this i didn't see that but there's a star here also in the back it's really shining bright which is talking about a wish fulfillment so it's like a very dreamlike, but still this is happening. Just absolutely gorgeous reading. Gorgeous energy. So what else for Aquarius? Wow. Uh, so strong, strong new beginning. We have now four number ones on the table and we have a strong new life path. So, Aquarius, I feel like you've had this before a couple of times. So I feel like you you feel, we have the full circle here again. Something has come full circling your dream. And so whatever was missing or the missing link or the missing piece or whatever you, you try to fill this gap or this void with has now come full circle. You figured something out. You're moving forward in a way that you figured it out and it's being mended. This gap here, you're standing on the side, side of the ledge or this, whatever this is. Um, wanting to cross over to the other side here. And you're, you've found the tool, the answer, whatever you need, the behavior, the the right attitude, whatever that is, on your new life path is like, here's the old life path almost, and we're jumping over here, it has come full circle, we're using what we know to be true now, and we're starting a new path, and it's unfolding really beautifully, uh, and then we have two cards, one is this triumph, and one says triumph and success, so it's like, there's triumph, when I when I think about triumph, it's like you have the you have the triumph cards, like the trump trump card, 
on your hand, like the triumphant cards on your hands, like the best hand. You have the best hand possible. And so we have yet number one, triumphant success. It's like you've you've moved past obstacles. You moved past whatever was in the way of you. You have figured it out and you are out on the other side. You really have dug yourself out on the other side. And it's equally like it's such a strong spiritual path for you, spiritual understanding that is go going on. Uh, but it's equal like the other side is really with you. It's like your loved ones in the heavens are really with you, guiding you. Um, this The spiritual side obviously is that as well. But this is more focused in on actual loved ones that has crossed over, that it has turned into your guardian angels, um, just guides really. And you're listening more to that, that now. You're tuning into that more now. And with the blue border, it speaks about this authentic version of you, this very truthful, honest version of yourself that is sort of, that has to be in the lead now. That is like the, the sword there. That is like the, um, oh, what is that called? I'm not going to find it. It's the way forward. <laughs> it doesn't sound half as fun as the other word that I had in my mind. Then we have number seven, which is absolutely gorgeous because seven is all about somewhat a completion, but it's, it's not a completion and let's move on to something completely different. Although I feel like that is the case here. We though have moved on to something completely different already. Um, due to the energy that is laying, it's really, really gorgeous energy that is laying here on the table with the one, eight, five, eleven, and then we have yet like one and five, and then a seven. On the seventh day he rested. It's like God created the world in six days, and then on the seventh day he rested. You've created so much. There's so much love, so much power and strength in both in the physical but the non-physical like everything is in place everything is really working for you you've really done a super super gorgeous job and on the seventh day he rested it's like it's time to lean back and it's time to just reap the rewards it's time to just enjoy what you created so whatever's coming in whether this is a real type of love real type of love but like if that is a love relationship that is coming in or a or a friendship or a a new connection just to anybody um, that is coming in to just really enjoy that relationship. Uh, if you feel like a lot of power, a lot of strength within you, just really enjoy feeling that security, feeling that powerful, feeling like a magician wherever you go. And then this life path, you're changing this life path and you're having changes in your financial and material life. And it's like it's all coming together and to just really sit back and enjoy just watching one thing after the other falling into place. That's the whole seven energy. And then we have um, a black border. So the universe again is backing you up. Uh, and it says, like I said, triumph, triumph on the bottom. And it's a red flag. And it's not a red flag that you should watch out for this. This is, and I always say this and it might get a bit boring, but I, I do... Um, see this card as the uh, movie with Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise like way back and they're riding competing to get the best piece of land they're they're claiming their land with this flag and putting the flag down and saying this is my land and so I feel like you're claiming your life right now you're claiming this new reality and stepping into this just unbelievable gorgeousness unbelievable gorgeousness With the energy that I feel here, I should call this reading unbelievable gorgeousness. I'm going to move into the extended and see what else we can find there. I just want to say that I lowered the price for the extended just because I think that a lot of people can't really afford some things right now. And I had some comments uh, saying I, they really wanted the, the extended, but they just couldn't afford it now. And my lowering the price might not make a difference for you guys. It might not even be, um, maybe you're like $1 doesn't even do it for me. So um, it's not that I'm saying $1, I, but I lowered it and I hope that's going to make a difference for some of you guys. 
so if you resonate with this reading, maybe you resonate with the extended as well. If this is where we part ways, then thank you so much for watching and hope to see you back soon. Take care, guys. Bye.